Well, bus riders in Burlington may soon be riding in electric vehicles. A joint financial investment was announced today between the city and the federal government. As Laverne McGee tells us, it's designed to tackle climate change one bus at a time. This diesel fuel bus in Burlington may soon be a thing of the past. If you've never heard of the term ZEB, get used to it. It stands for Zero Emissions Bus. Today, the City of Burlington and the Government of Canada announced a plan to spend $462,000 to study the transition to ZEBs. The goal? To go all electric and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Although this project will eventually cost millions of dollars, it's not expected to raise bus fares. The quickest and easiest way to get on the bus is with one of these Presto cards. Burlington City Councilor Rory Neeson says he and his partner share one car and use the bus on a regular basis. He says more and more people in Burlington are using the public transit system. The usage rates are, are going up very quickly we're, to the point where we're adding more buses into our fleet. So uh, Burlington is growing fast and it's growing upwards because we don't have green space. In 2022, Burlington Transit provided 2.2 million rides. In 2023, they are projecting their ridership to be around 2.8 million rides. Burlington will eventually look different with the addition of electric buses. Some roads will need to be widened to accommodate electric vehicle bus lanes. And there may be chargers built along bus routes. Um, we're growing up, we're going to become more dense, and the bus is going to be uh, a great option for a lot of uh, people in our city going forward. Part of the money for this project is coming from the federal government's $2.75 billion zero emissions public transit fund. The transportation sector accounts for 25% of Canada's greenhouse gas emissions. The City of Burlington project is being done in partnership with the City of London. Minister Karina Gould says the goal is to bring down the costs associated with purchasing the buses by buying them at the same time to lower costs. We have to make these changes, otherwise we're only going to see more extreme weather and honestly more dangerous living conditions. This will also hopefully help save people money. With the cost of living crisis, people want to take the bus. Laverne McGee, CHCH News.